My name is William. And I'm James. And we are the Nature Boys. And today, we're talking about crested geckos. Crested geckos, they obviously call them crested geckos because they have a crest on the outer side of their bodies. They do feel they like do squishy and soft, but like a frog, but without the stickiness. And they like their eyes because they don't have any eyelids to wet their eyes, so they have to do that. And they they kind of look like um, what are they called? Um, like the animal stuff, like the stuffed toys, that it, but it doesn't feel like those. And they are omnivores because they eat plants and meat. They're from New Caledonia and they're just pretty cool animals. We have to clean them inside of the tank really good. And the outside. Now we're going to take some measurements to cut the foam board to fit in here. Twenty-four and a half inches. We cut the foam board in size and all the extra pieces we used so the lizards could climb on. We are going to put some foam on here. Stick these pieces of driftwood and put these beautiful plants on here. We have to put some foam all over this thing. And these cups are what the plants are going to go in. out to make it look that it their natural environment so we let it dry overnight and now it's all puffed up so let's get to carving we got to carve out all of the cups things like that you would put yourself in your if you hold it here behind it, it'll cut away from you, then you don't have to worry about cutting your hand, okay? Now that we're done carving all this, we're gonna add some silicone and, and cocoa fiber. You gotta rope. make sure that the cocoa fiber is dry so that way it doesn't um, fall off and any of the particles of the fall off. And we're just gonna add it to that and and so we're gonna make a substrate of cocoa fiber, orchid bark, and sphragnum sphragnum moss. We are going to add silicone to this rope to make it look like jungle vines. Go ahead. When it comes out. So I'm going to start spreading it. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, is, that is kind of hard. Oh, now you're putting the bark on there? Yep, you got to kind of press it in. Oh, do the so fiber that's, too. that's like the dirt? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, 
the most is like the least. Thank you. Oh, that's actually smart. Kim, squirt it. Go up here. It's not as hard. No, let him do it. He's doing it. to be fixed so that we need a lot more James. Keep going. It's hard. Why are we gonna have a question? So we have some cocoa fiber and we gotta wet it because it is packed into a hard um case. case. We have some sphagnum moss and we but we're making a substrate so um sphagnum moss Orchid bark, sand, and cocoa fiber. Now that these are dry, we are going to put them in the enclosure. Now we're going to move some. We washed up some river stones. And we're going to spread them around on the bottom of the tank. Then we're going to put the mesh. We're putting some mesh. Oh, yeah. We're going to put in some mesh, and then once we put in the mesh, we're going to put in some charcoal and then the substrate. So now we're going to cut the string into the back. Right now we're just making a false bottom. A false bottom is to the well, the river rocks are supposed to help for the, the, all the water that's left in the cage drip down. So we have the charcoal and we're just adding it. It's, um, charcoal is like a filter almost, so that way we spread it all through it. So now we're going to add some substrate. And it has little charcoal pieces, and the charcoal is actually good for plants and filtering. High and higher in the front. I mean, no, higher in the back. Like it slopes. Just slip it down and towards the front. Then we're just gonna slope it down like this. And then we're gonna add some in the cups. We added some cups to put the plants in so they have somewhere to hide. Then we have some ledges up here. Then that's where you get there. So we washed off all of the roots and all of the plants so that way there's no pesticides which can harm the geckos. And just to make sure that there's no um, 
fertilizer in the plants because that could also harm the animals. So, this big one, maybe put it in the back over here. So that way it's... Just take that, bury all the roots. Put the wedge in there. This substrate, pack it in on top of the roots. Then, we did the same on all of them. So, we got green, purples, and now I'm just going to add a purple so it even out the colors. Then have this thing up here. So we add a little bit more there so that way it doesn't fall out. That one like right there. thing about um, tanks like this is that you can see it from the side so you know where it is like if you have to pack it in some more so we have some more sturdy leaves so that way when the geckos climb on it it's a lot more sturdier and the leaves don't break so we're doing the vines now um, they're made out of rope, silicone, and um, cocoa, uh, cocoa fiber. And I'm just going to loop it through over here, twist it kind of up through, back down, maybe through here. Up. Over this, back here. That way it ends right there, and then right here, this will be like the twisted, twisting part where it's. So we're gonna add a cleanup crew of springtails and isopods and in about a month we're gonna add the geckos. We have one boy and three girls. We have not named We have them not yet. named them. So comment down below of what we can what. name them. And don't forget to go down there and like and subscribe. I hope you like the video. The male is male, and all the others are female. 